Bonjour, madame et monsieur, ça va bien? Aujourd'hui, nous installons Mint Linux. What's up, people? Today, we're going to install Mint Linux. Mint Linux is a distribution of Linux that uh, was the first distribution that I could run on my tablet. You know, world's first uh, Linux tablet. Try to find that video, you know, you will see. Uh, check the upload date and then you will see that um, this tablet you know was one of the first tablets that were running Linux and that there was also a video on uh, YouTube showing the tablet so today I was really desperate for an operating system and I did not want it to be Windows because I had no license and I didn't want it to be um, some other Mac, outdated Mac, some OS X86 project, no. I wanted it to be a Linux distribution, but one, you know, that is really stable and one, you know, that I already have some experience with, such as Mint Linux. As I told you, Mint Linux was one of the first that could run on this tablet including the touch screen working and it was not about running on the tablet it was about letting the touch screen work you know that we could like you know use only eh, the tablet of course the Linux distribu distribution I think it was uh, 11 or 12 of course was not made for tablets but you know there was like no 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 keyboard popping up if you would like want to type something you had to you know download a, a little software keyboard but you know the thing worked so today we're gonna install Linux on an old laptop I have this laptop here it's the red laptop the Darlington laptop here you can see it well in fact this was a very old ugly laptop <laughs> that my friend wanted to just throw away because the hard bay drive drive in it was also gone and I still had one from Asus, you know, that could uh, fit in here. You know, this thing is, uh, what is it? It's uh, the Toshiba, the Toshiba Tektra S2. It's not a bad laptop, you know, it's not bad at all. But it looked really ugly, so I painted it. There should be a video on my side, you know, where I show you how uh, I painted this thing and made it into... A darling the laptop so we're gonna install mint Linux on this so you know let's jump into the job oh yeah by the way of course you need to create a bootable USB from the ISO file that you download if you just go to uh, Google and type mint Linux slash download you know uh, then you will find the site of mint Linux just go up there and download your favorite uh, one you want to download you know I took uh, the latest version uh, the 32 bit and that's what we are gonna install oh yeah by the way uh, it's the one with a normal desktop so not with the GNOME desktop the GNOME desktop I think is more for users with tablets you know so you, you have them big things that you can touch but for uh, the real serious work you know I would go for the normal uh, desktop I forgot how uh, Mint called it, but you know, after creating the bootable USB stick with UNet booting, you know, you can then stick in um, the USB in the laptop or even tablet if you have a tablet. But then you must know how to boot from the USB. So in this case, this Toshiba, I can go into the BIOS and select the USB drive. You know, after I inserted it and then I can select that drive to start up from and up there are the booting files from Mint Linux. I, I did that all already if you don't know how to do that check out one of my videos here how to create a bootable uh, Linux uh, distribution or how to do it with UNet booting. I have several videos in my list. Okay enough spoken let's go do the job. So I have the USB stick and I have the laptop waiting for me, ready to pump some Linux in its, in its body.
Bam bam. Okie doke, welcome back. So, this is my cap. And we're gonna open the laptop. The USB stick is already in there. Look here, you see that? I already have it in there. So we're gonna turn on the laptop. And always look at what you see eh? here at the bottom. It says F2 for setup, so we hit F2. Now, in here in the BIOS, you must take a good look and you will see somewhere saying boot. At least at this laptop it's here. And then we go to the hard drive and up here you can see that the USB is already selected as the first drive so I just hit F10 that means save all settings and uh, continue you know I was already installing Linux on this thing but uh, yeah I had a little uh, problem because I wanted you know to run I wanted to run Firefox and if I cannot install Firefox I don't want it I have my reasons for that okay we um, we say default you know if you don't do anything then it will boot up for you and then you will see a logo sorry for the blurry my cam is a little bit yeah it doesn't like these uh, dark moments and then you know then it gets a little bit blurry so there it is mint Linux and she started up and uh, up here you can see here at the bottom I will try to zoom in a little bit for you somebody is also talking to me you know makes it hard but uh, you can see that uh, the Wi-Fi is found it's talking about the battery may be recalled it's because the battery in here is not so good um, Okay, so the Linux is now uh, running and up. Oh, I was showing you something really boring. But the Linux is now running and up. It was really easy. As you could see, you know, the USB booted really nice. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna install Linux to this laptop, Mint Linux. And I can tell you my friends, this is one hell of a distribution. It's really, really, really good you know and um, it's really really good and up here you can choose your language and you can see many languages and I think also Dutch you see ook Nederlands but I'm gonna keep it English or peut-être français français pour mon français ami aussi and Helsinki and Rvatsky and Roska and all your friends you know you can all install uh, Mint Linux okay so we continue we continue there my friends yes yes we continue okay what we see here has at least 6.3 gigabytes available dry space is plugged on okay we say continue and we just say continue here we don't want to connect to the Wi-Fi yet you know we could that but we don't have to you see I hope the screen is not blurry um, and here we're gonna say uh, erase Ubuntu and reinstall this will delete your Ubuntu 12 blah 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 yeah 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 uh, you can say install Mint Linux aside with Ubuntu so if you had Windows it would you know and you had enough space it would install Mint Linux beside Windows and then you would get a boot little boot option asking you you know where do you what do you want to start up Windows or magical Linux I'm gonna say erase blah -de blah and whatever and reinstall 
uh, use LVM with the new Linux installation. This will set up logical volume management. It allows taking snapshots and easier partition resizing. Something else, you can create a resize positions yourself or choose multiple partitions for Linux Mint. Encrypt the new Mint installation for security. I, I just go for the second one, yo. That will give me a clean uh, drive with only Mint Linux on it. So that's what I want. If I turn on um, this machine, I'm just gonna type Amsterdam. <laughs> it's putting me somewhere in the United States. That's not Amsterdam, yo. Amsterdam is here. <laughs> it's putting me in Toronto. No, where's Amsterdam? Amsterdam. Where are you? Come on. Afghanistan, bloody blah. Where's Amsterdam? Oh, probably I must type Netherlands, no? You stupid. Netherlands, you see? Linux don't want you to be stupid. You must be a little bit smart if you use Linux. If you are stupid, like I was just now, then, you know, you make stupid mistakes. English, US, uh, this is for the keyboard. Well, you know, you must know your keyboard layout. We all use um, just uh, English, uh, US, so that's what I'm gonna use. Up here we can give it a name. I'm gonna call it uh, Linux. And Linux SM BIOS bloody bloody blah Tegra S2. We're gonna call the computer Tegra S2. Username. We must put in a password. Look, and this was also really nice for um, for the tablets that you could you know select log me in automatically. You know, so that's really, really cool. So now we just hit next, continue. Okay, it's gonna copy the files now and this is what's gonna happen now. It will install Linux, so it wasn't so hard, right? So that went really easy. So, you know, we're gonna install uh, Mint Linux and when she's gonna do the rebooting, I'm gonna get back to you and then we're gonna see um, how easy Mint Linux works and how good the App Store is. Eh? Because Mint Linux has its own App Store. So when you need a kind of program, you just go to add programs, you know, and then you search for whatever you're searching for. And then it will find some program that will fulfill your desires so you can do whatever you have to do. So that's that's about it, yo. The install is just going fine. I would not go do other things now, you know, because the operating system is now running from the CD or from the DVD or from the USB in this case. And, um, you know, if you go opening other things while the install is busy, then it must give sec two two to three uh, kinds of information at the same time coming from the same stick you understand and doing an installation while doing other things is not so good so you shouldn't do that so just leave it this way yeah. we'll see uh, how it will go it's, it's going amazingly beautiful take a look at this Enjoy, enjoy your music with Banshee, plug in your mp3 player or extract songs from your audio CDs, listen to uh, podcasts and online radios, discover new artists and less FM, the internet archive and uh, the Amazon mp3 store. So that's really cool, yo. And the coolest thing is that we will have Firefox on board because that is my goal. I want Firefox and only Firefox on this machine. Oh, 
Je pensais, ma chérie, pas là. Ok, it's finished. Tous les jours, je pensais où à ma fille. Où est ma fille? Elle n'est pas là. Pas ici. Ma chérie. Ok, we go back to F2. Oops, or we remove the USB stick. We could do that. You see that? <laughs> error, error. Don't worry, just turn it off. You must remove the USB stick before turning the baby on or go back to the BIOS and, you know, fix the first boot okay now you don't have to do anything and it's just gonna boot from mint, mint linux minto de linux this uh, my friends is special for uh, minto de linux this is this is very good operating system my friend this is very very good when you use this no hacking no spirus no virus no nothing only good work this is very good amazing for internet look at this logo when you see this logo no this is not whatsapp logo this is mint linux yes i'm coming you see people talk to me i'm a very important person because i use linux you know so they want to talk to me they want to know how to do it so and we're looking at the real-time boot people no kidding um yeah i'm just getting around a little bit you can see that my screen is getting blurry blurry it's getting blurry it's because of my beautiful cam my gvc cam yep the one with 45 zoom mm -hmm. records in sd quality yep yep no not hd sd Small definition, small definition. So there we are, people. And she is booted up. It's giving you a welcome screen, just like Windows, you know. Welcome to Mint Linux. We really appreciate that you installed Mint Linux. And we think you are a really nice person. Anyway, peeps, this is it. Um, if you get a warning about the battery, it's just because uh, the battery... Uh, if your battery is okay you won't get that warning and you can see my firefox web browser is right there and right here we have all the programs well i'm not gonna show you how uh this looks like from the inside because i have only uh three minutes left video but i'm telling you this is beautiful people check it out yourself mint linux 15 yo peeps that was it uh, for today um yeah, I'm gonna play with my Linux laptop. I'm gonna put in my Firefox plugins. That's why I wanted this distribution. And if you want to install Linux on a laptop, please try Mint Linux. Till my next video, and I wish you all a very beautiful weekend. Bye bye.